Welcome back. So I think it's high time we check out this lab. But uh, we don't have access to a whole lot at the moment. I mean, we've only got, what was it, level 1 security? Yikes. That doesn't uh, give us a whole lot of room to explore. Also, this hallway kind of... It mildly gives me some MGS1 vibes, but it does turn the corner the wrong way, I suppose. So, with our level 1 security, we can access the cafeteria. The uh, cafeteria actually houses a small... It, it has to be intentional. There's a small joke that I, I really like. But uh, let's take this dead man's grenade. Son of a bitch. And uh, I was intent on clearing these zombies out, and I'm not entirely sure why. I I'd probably had enough. So you get the automated message about the menu as you watch a zombie eating a corpse. <laughs> I love that. That's really good. Kinda wish I'd stopped to take a look at the menu, but uh... But I, I suppose with this fellow, I wouldn't have been able to. And I want that knife back. But I, he, I, it won't give me the knife back. I didn't quite realize that that knife was actually, uh, it was basically already broken. Which of course led to me sticking another knife in him. Now that one had full durability, so I can actually grab it back. But, uh, defensively using a knife eats up a lot of its durability. Something I really should have figured out by now. And hey look, I finally found one more Mr. Raccoon before the end of this. So that zombie got up again. She's already up and about. That's frustrating. Ooh, free knife. That's bad. <laughs> so this guy is a little kitted out. He, uh... You may have noticed he has, like, knee pads and elbow pads, and I... I think my shots are actually being deflected off of those. I wanted my knife back. So it's it's a little weird that the nap room is level 1 security, but to get to the nap room, you have to go to the, like, the, the, the back of the cafeteria, which was security level 2, and I don't, I don't quite understand. Well, in either case, we got our security 2 chip from, uh, I believe it was Wayne Lee? Yeah, he, the records did show he never left the nap room, and, uh, yikes.
So I'm gonna check the map in a second here. Uh, I realized that I missed an item. Jesus. There we go. That that should put a stop to that. Oh, you know what? I don't check the map right away. I, there's something I have to pick up before I come back. I did miss an item in the cafeteria, and it takes me uh, stupidly long to find it, so I do a, a quick cut. Yeah, I just had to deposit that large gunpowder. I'm not sure why it took me so long to decide to put it away. But uh, before going back, I wanted to pick up this gadget. This device. Yeah, using that uh, signal modulator, we'll be able to... Um, restore power to any segments of the lab that, you know, don't have power. Right, there we go, so now... I mean, we can restore power to the nap room. I'm sure there's a reason to do that. But you know what, I don't trust Wayne Lee to not be a zombie at this point, so let's just preemptively take one of his arms off. Nice. So, you know, let's just select the appropriate frequency type, and then uh, line up the uh, waveforms. Yeah, and then it's, it's just plug and play, and I... I don't understand the, like, the purpose of that device. It's so weird. <gasps> and there's another Mr. Raccoon there! He's clearly just wiggling and happy inside of that... Oh, man! I've had enough of your complaining, Wayne. So, let's grab this uh, hip pouch. The real reason I came back here and miss the very obvious Mr. Raccoon. <laughs> oh man. I'm very lucky I didn't get grabbed there. That totally looked like I should have gotten grabbed. So, here it is. This whole segment is red, but I've only missed one item. The uh, map is a little weird about this spot. So here it is. Pick up this fuel canister, and now all four of those segments are blue again. I, I have no idea why the map registers like the item in one room for being in all four of those places. It's strange. Alright, so now, I believe we know the G-Virus is being kept in the west area. Oh, but we can't access the west area. Damn. So I, I guess we just have to go check and see what we can do in the east area. This already does not look good. I do like that herb though. Love getting some green herbs. And gunpowder. Also very good. Very helpful. Okay. 
after some quick uh, gunpowder mixing. Let's uh, reload some ammo. I seem to be favoring the shotgun. That looks like something we need. Jesus. What happened here? But hi Bert. Senior staff clearance required for computer access. Oh, that's yeah, that's a bad sign. Let's swap to the chemical flamethrower. Plants don't like fire, right? Yeah, it's just, I don't trust that. I... Nope. No trust. I agree, Leon. Oh, there's another asshole right here. So the thing about uh, burning ivies is they aren't quite dead until their uh, their body is just completely charred black. I had forgotten that detail while recording. Also, I I decided to uh, just do a standard run of the lab. I didn't want to bother. Uh, actually getting the codes ahead of time. It's... Honestly, it's not that much faster, even if you do get the codes. I mean, okay, I... You cut out a couple of... A couple of trips between floors, but other than that, I, I mean... I still did this plenty fast enough, I feel. So in here, we could unlock this puzzle, but uh, that's only the first half of the, uh, the, the like the, the password for it, the pin. Also, that body in the corner kind of weirds me out. I don't know if it's the, I don't know if it's the, uh, like the hazmat suit but it looks like it has a really nasty hunched back. It looks really bad. It's gotta be the suit. Shit. Let's just light up another ivy. Oh, it's a two for one. Roast him. So there you can see, um, well first off, here's a full code. We can actually take care of this one. But, uh, as I was saying before I looked at the uh, hatch there, uh, you could see the ivy in the back was completely charred black. That one is not getting up anytime soon. Or ever. The uh, the second one that fell down on me, uh, that one I did not burn all the way. And you know what, that guy's just far away, that's fine. Just leave him back there. So the... Uh, <clears throat> fun <clears throat> part of this keypad. I didn't realize it was just numbers, but reading the negative space. I didn't like. I didn't know that until I watched Argate's half of the LP. So, you know, uh, all of a sudden I was having a much easier time remembering the uh, like the passwords for stuff. These two different passwords. <laughs> the first time through, I was mumbling to myself, you know, trying to remember a sequence of 
okay, weird square, weird rectangle, you know, stupid crap like that. <laughs> and ooh, two large gunpowders. Let's just, uh, yeah, 57 handgun bullets uh, for the Matilda. I, I still have that sitting in the box because I was using the uh, 45. But next time we get a box, I'm going to swap out my pistols, and uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot to work with. That's suddenly a very comfortable amount of handgun rounds to use. Hey, okay, wait a minute. Those aren't in the bottom right. Th there we go. Better. You know, here, I was having a mild moment of panic. I know there's something that's supposed to be there, but it's only supposed to be there if you're in the A campaign. I'm in the B campaign. Couldn't hurt to turn the power on, though. And these idiots don't seem to be waking up, so that's fine. That's cool. Now, the server room. The server room is good. This is a good place to be. And it, it's not because of the, uh, the chemical flamethrower fuel. Also, I didn't actually make a save there. I, I accidentally clicked on the typewriter. I thought maybe there was an item next to it or something. I don't know. Are you going to load that handgun? There we go. Still oddly dark in that corner of the room, but you know what? That's fine. Ooh, more shoddy shells. I like shotgun shells. It, there's a reason I'm being cautious. That's a reason to be cautious. Let's uh, walk carefully. And oh, hey, look, it's the uh, trophy I was looking for. The trophy from the Guac Institute? <laughs> so, to me, that kind of looks like 2098. It's actually 2048. I, like, the negative space thing is really cool, but it has problems. It has some minor problems. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. Oh, I believe Argate already uh, commented on this, but that uh, that email system looks suspiciously googly to me. I don't know. Looked a, a little too Gmail-ish. <sighs> Who left the freezer open? So, there was something we could have checked out in the, uh, I'm not sure what to call that room. Just the, the, the cold lab? I don't know. But, uh, we don't have what we need for that room quite yet. Also, I was actually preparing myself for an encounter with the liquors there. But uh, that that liquor did not round the corner, or you know, it, it wasn't hanging out outside the door, so I was fine. No, everything's fine. Especially this ivy getting a little too close to me, it, and a zombie landing on my head. Nope, everything's fine. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a good moment. Also, this, uh, this confused me a little bit, because, uh, the power's already on here, and I think the A campaign, you have to use the signal modulator there. Either that, or that's where you get it. I don't know, that, that threw me for a, a minor loop. Please... Why won't your legs fall off? Oh, this lady. That lady is problematic. There we go, get some organization out of the way. It's time to make the rounds again. Oh. And this guy's not down yet. You know what, right around- yeah, I decided I want to show off the alternate method of taking down an IV. You just have to pop every single one of those uh, yellow bulbs that are kind of sprouting up around their bodies. And uh, that looked really skillful, but I can assure you I'm not usually that great at taking them down. There we go, I wanted a closer look at this code. I wanna double check it. I'm still a little confused by, uh, how the, uh, the like, the, um, inscription on that trophy says it's for the Guac Institute? <laughs> I'm really curious about that. Oh, looks like I want that knife back. I got that inventory space so I could fill it, damn it. There we go. I just needed him to stop freaking out. And and then I ignored the knife? Why did I do that? I want that knife. So we saw this puzzle in the A campaign. I'm going to cut it out cuz it's it's a long finish. one. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. And after some uh puzzle solving, there it is. I mean, we've seen this before. I I seem to recall Argate showing it off. If not, Boy, do I feel stupid. <laughs> nah, he did. <sighs> now, the uh, cryo lab. That's the phrase I was looking for earlier. The uh, cryo lab is basically just around the corner down here, so I figure, eh, why not? Let's just take this way. Okay, that's good. The liquor is over there, but there's a couple zombies in the way, and they make enough noise for liquors. Oh, there's two. Let's just. There we go. And make a break for it. Just go. Now, in the low temp testing lab, we can, uh, like, flash freeze that, uh, uh, what is that? Like a, not a solvent. Some sort of plant goop. We're going to flash freeze the plant goop to turn it into herbicide. A uh, solution. I'm no chemist, but I I can imagine a complex uh, solution being altered just through flash freezing. I don't know. 
I'm, I'm readily willing to accept that. Yeah, there's nothing else in here, so let's stop freezing Leon to death. There you go, buddy. Of course, the exit is just to my left. Yep, I'm making a break for it. Just get out of here. Alright, nobody ready to ambush me there. Now I just gotta check the stairs on the way up. Oh, see, I told you. Told you I'm not always good at this. After missing the bulbs so many times, I just opted to. Oh no. Oh. So she went down pretty nicely. Except this guy. This guy's a problem and I don't like him. Because if a zombie tackles you downstairs, you apparently take a lot of damage. That guy's a jerk. And I don't like him. But, you know what, let's sort out my inventory one more time. I did pick up a gunpowder. <laughs> Not a whole lot of change there, just putting away the gunpowder. That guy finally stayed down. But not this guy. Let's see about killing some uh, Plant 45. Dispensing solution now. Or was it Plant 43? I don't remember. You know what? In any case, it doesn't matter. Because now we can grab that uh, level Back 3 security trip. chip. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been locked, and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. Now remember that the uh, level 2 chip, it actually had Wayne Lee's ID, like, tied to it? We walked in- oh boy. Him again? Mr. X, I am so sick of your shit, my dude. And he went around a way I wasn't expecting. Oh. <laughs> Time to go. In the heat of the moment, you may not notice it, but the music actually stopped. I'm not sure if uh, Mr. X can actually chase you out of that room. Oh, music came back. <laughs> I don't know where he is, but I want out. To uh, elaborate on uh, that statement, I was about to finish making until Mr. X showed up. Um, I just think it's funny that we technically have Wayne Lee on the hook for uh, distributing the herbicide. Also, come on, Leon, you've got Mr. X chasing you. You don't want to slam the button and, and get the bridge like out of the way. You know, guarantee that he can't follow. Oh well. 
We're finally headed to the uh, West Lab. And you know what? It is a little dark in here, so uh, it's a good thing I still have that uh, signal modulator. Also, free grenade. Nice. What's your favorite frequency br uh, band? I think mine is Murph. I like Murph. A AWS took me a second to figure out. There we go. And now we're done with the modulator. work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Stop! Hold your fire! What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. You know, I'm not sure what that soldier's reaction was supposed to be. Birkin pulled a gun. We, we, I don't know. Pop him in the knee? So those were G samples. There we go. Get the discard. Don't, you know, miss the button. It's an interesting bed. Uh, let's just move on here. Look at this big ominous room. Look at these big, ominous, gooey bits. Say, that looks kind of familiar over there. Like we just watched it in a, a little cassette tape. One last bit of organization, and uh, I'll see you next video.